Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel, Deb Chanel's 48th World, okay? If you haven't subscribed, go on and subscribe and keep listening to my crazy, crazy self, okay? Funny but crazy self when I'm giving my take on what I feel in my opinion on a particular subject. Come on in the room, sit down on the sofa, get a chair, lay on the floor, I don't care, Toast up to your favorite drink, whether it's coffee, tea, or a wine cooler, such as myself, or a bottle of wine. I, I, I don't care. Your choice, your beverage, you drink it. Okay? But let's get down onto this topic of discussion that I just fell out. I mean, I was just tickled pink about it. I'm like, Lord, this man no sad. went through a cancer scale, and now he out there trying to be a Papa was a Rolling Stone type of gentleman out there. <laughs> I'm like, no, this cannot be. Not my favorite G. Not my favorite housewife husband. Oh, my Lord. It's just too much. Now, the, the place I'm getting this information from, it's not really a reputable source at times. They don't had their hands tapped a few times and probably got a little lawsuit here and there for not reporting accurate information. So it's just going to stay between you and I. Wherever you take it, you take it. But just know all this was allegedly, okay? We're just sitting together in the room, wherever we may be, and we're just discussing. Just like chit-chat, you know what I'm saying? Don't take it no further than the house that we're in. But if you tend to want to take it beyond these walls, go ahead, do your thing. But don't say Dale Chanel said it, okay? Say allegedly we were talking at Dale Chanel's house and we were just discussing some things. Okay, now that's how you need to put it out there. Don't be trying to you know, say, well, you reported. No, I already told you. Media takeout, not a really a reputable source, but sometimes they do get it right. After the smoke has cleared, the fog done died down. Yes, they have had a few times where they have come and stood up to the challenge and rise. Okay, but take the source that you're getting it from and, you know, you evaluate it for, for however you see it. Let's put it that way, okay? But anyway, I invited you over. You got your favorite drink. You're chilling. Let's talk about it. The media takeout has brought out today a story. A story they called or captioned, Atlanta Housewives Nene Catches Husband with Female Employee. And this was written by London or Lyndon or OB. Obio, Abio, okay, we just gonna say London or Linden, A B I O Y E, okay. We gonna mess up the child name. I know I don't try it, and I know I don't crucify it, but sorry about that. We just gonna call you Linden O, okay. Anyway, she goes on to report her right. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Nene Leakes has reportedly caught her husband Greg talking secretly on the phone with one of her employees, okay. Greg recently fought and won in a battle with colon cancer, and now that he's cancer-free, uh, Nene's husband appears to be back to his old ways, okay? Nene took to social media yesterday and disclosed that a friend's husband was caught secretly talking on the phone with one of his wife's employees. Even though Nene phrased the disclosure as it were a friend, most of her fans were convinced that the reality star was talking about herself and her husband, Greg. Okay. Nene has admitted in the past that Greg cheated on her and that she never fully forgave him for his transgressions. And then they just tell you what she posted on social media on her Twitter account, which, read, which reads, You find out your husband slash boyfriend been talking on the phone regularly to one of your female employees as just a friend, but you had no knowledge of it. Did he cross any lines asking for a friend since y'all know everything? But he said, we never talked sex. I just need, or I just needed someone to talk to. That's what she writes. Nene, real name is Lanithia. Monique Nini Leakes is a 52-year-old television personality, actress, presenter, author, and fashion designer. 
Well, they didn't show them put she was a comedian up in there. Okay. Well, anyway, moving on from that. She's best known for her appearing on the reality te television series, The Real Housewives of Atlanta, as an original cast member and for her excuse me, recurring cast member. No, I'm sorry. And for her recurring character, Ross Washington on the Fox comedy drama series Glee. We ain't even gonna go there about that. They shouldn't even wrote that in now. But okay, they were just trying to, you know, add on to a resume here and there. Uh, Nene recently opened up a new store inside the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, and she hired dozens of pretty young girls to work at her store. Nene husband Greg is helping manage the store. <laughs> I just got to laugh at that because it just tickled me pink. So I'm like, nay, 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 nay. You made to tell me that you hired all these younger women for your husband, Greg, to look at from time to time. And you're thinking that he's basically cheating on you. Well, that may be true in a sense of he may be lustful with his eyes and his mind. But unless you're a mind reader or a prophet, you don't know what's really going on in Greg's eye. But that's just like sitting up there putting a favorite dish of food that you like that you had sworn off. And it's just constantly being prepared in front of your face over and over and over again. Of course, when you do something like that, you're going to be tempted. Temptation is very strong for the flesh. So just depends on how geared up and prayed up you are to resist temptation. But if you ain't been giving Greg none or you've been kind of non-existent and acting more like a mother than a wife, then, yeah, it, it could be possibly true. But wouldn't it be like you sabotage your own self? Because I would have like a whole lot of men around me or whatnot. Oh, yeah, ladies, you know what I'm saying? Uh, be an equal opportunity employer. Hire some of everybody, you know, men, women, gay, lesbian, you know, whatever. Give a variety, but don't stick a whole buffet out there and you ain't treating Greg like you used to treat Greg. And, of course, he's been out of commission for a minute because of his cancer scare and everything that went along with that. Uh, of course, his behavior is going to change. Of course, his demeanor is going to change because at once he was looking at Del door. So he was trying to make it, you know, uh, make amends with everybody in a sense so he can probably get in them pearly gates. OK, so now he's not facing Del door anymore. And he has this realization that life is just ahead of him. Of course, he's going to be more vibrant, more aware, more alert and ready to do some stuff. So I'm like, Girl, Nene, 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 maybe you need a break. Maybe you need to take a vacation and just go somewhere. Do something for yourself. Because, I mean, you were a caregiver to Greg. You've been there for him. Still trying to, you know, do your thing so your family can eat. Because you're definitely done told us, which, you know, we could see. You're the sole provider. You're out there doing your whole thing. However... You're still a wife, you're still a mother, and you still have to take time out for yourself. So, Nene, before you go around him saying your husband trying to put it out for a storyline, maybe. I don't know, but I'm telling I don't want to see that from you, Nene. You're too talented. You start a drama, you fix it, and somehow you and Marlo get it served up on a golden platter and then just dish it out for the whole season. And it just lingers, lingers, lingers until it's time for a reunion time, and then you really... Just tear into people. You be like, okay, I need a break from y'all. So I'm not going to talk to none of y'all. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm getting. But I don't want this storyline that Greg's cheating on you. Find something else. But I, uh, I, no. No, 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 no. Oh, Nene, I just tell you, that was funny. That was really funny. If it is, in fact, true, maybe you and Greg need to separate. You know what I'm saying? Because it don't look like you've been happy for a minute. I don't know if that's true to that or is or what you're giving us or it's another storyline plot or I don't know. Maybe you're hitting that, how they call it, um, it ain't the seven-year itch, but it's like you go into a crisis stage where you're not young, you're not old. It's just this crazy stage, like you got a fever going on of fascination and, and desire and, and lustful things. And you just want to be young again, footloose and fancy free. 
<laughs> crisis, midlife crisis. That's what I was looking at. Maybe you're having a midlife crisis or something. But don't throw poor Greg into another tailspin because you know he old too. Well, I wouldn't say old. Let's just say season. He don't have time for fights. Not now since he's gotten recuperated and he's not dying and he's not seeing life pass him by and stuff. So I'm sure his attitude has changed for the better. If not, go to counseling, honey. But don't make this your storyline of Greg with the new season coming up. Greg cheating on you. Greg don't get you wrong. I mean, come on, Nene. Come on, baby. You know me. Here and there, you know, if he cheated in the past, this is just what they say now. I'm not sure, y'all. Y'all help me out. Once a cheater, always a cheater. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I mean, my ex-husband cheated, yeah. And seemed like he was cheating on his other wife from what I hear from his family members that want to, you know, throw me back in the mix. I'm like, no, uh-uh. Did that, done that, put it to bed. You know what I'm saying? That's somebody else's concern, not mine. So I don't know, maybe it has something that rings true once a cheater is a cheater, unless they mentally and physically want to change. And it has to be actions over time. It can't be just like, oh, you messed up this week. You're going to get it together in a couple of weeks and everything's cool. No, that's just not how change works. OK, that person who's doing the infidelity, the cheating, the lying, the, the philandering, all of that, they have to want to change. They have to see that what they're doing to the person that they say they love and cherish is wrong. Nobody should have to point it out to them. They should know automatically. So that was my take, y'all. I'm glad y'all came into the house. We're going to talk about a few more other stories, and then I'm going to be put to bed, okay? I'm going to put my own self to bed, all right? But that was media takeout news. Take it for what it's worth. This is all table talk <laughs> or sofa talk. I just find it just very amusing. I'm like, come up with another storyline, Nene. We do not, or I do not want to see this. I want to see something else. Get something else up under the sheets to talk about. But not Greg is cheating on me. I mean, come on. <sighs> All right, guys. Y'all be blessed. And I'll talk to you some I'll talk to you later for something else. Take care. Bye-bye.